The Cretaceous period was an era of rapid evolution for dinosaurs. Across the globe, these ancient creatures developed into remarkable forms. Each species fighting for dominance in the relentless struggle for survival. This period was home to some of the most fearsome herbivores and terrifying predators that ever walked the earth. Imagine the towering Argentinosaurus reaching the height of a seven-story building, or the fearsome Carcharodontosaurus, whose name alone doesn't fully capture how menacing it truly was. And then, there's the heavily armored Ankylosaurus. Equipped with a club-shaped tail, these creatures didn't yield a single inch, constantly competing for their place in a world where only the strongest survived. But this great age of dinosaurs came to a sudden and catastrophic end with a world-shaking event that led to the extinction of most dinosaur species and forever altered life on Earth. The Jurassic period gave way to the Cretaceous, the final chapter of the Mesozoic era, lasting from about 145 to 65 million years ago. During this time, an incredible diversity of dinosaurs evolved, including some of the largest and most iconic creatures. As the Cretaceous progressed, new groups like the Ceratopsians and Theropods gained prominence. The period is divided into two parts, the Early and Late Cretaceous. In the Early Cretaceous, from 145 to 100 million years ago, dinosaurs diversified even further, with new groups such as the ornithopods and sauropods emerging. This was also the time when the first birds evolved from small feathered theropods. By the late Cretaceous, from 100 to 65 million years ago, the Earth saw even more dramatic changes. One of the most significant events was the tectonic breakup of the supercontinent Pangaea into separate landmasses, Laurasia and Gondwana. Eventually forming the modern continents. This separation created isolated ecosystems on each landmass, leading to the evolution of unique dinosaur species. The late Cretaceous also witnessed the rise of flowering plants, which had a major impact on ecosystems, changing the way dinosaurs interacted with their environment. As sea levels rose, flooding low-lying areas, new marine ecosystems developed, making the oceans a rich and varied source of life. As the continents drifted apart, the once unified dinosaur populations became isolated, leading to the development of unique species on each landmass. By the time this era ended, Earth was ruled by giants, each with their own strengths and weaknesses. In North America, a fierce battle was set to unfold between the mightiest predators and the most stubborn herbivores. At the top of the food chain, was the fearsome Tyrannosaurus rex, roaming the land in search of prey. One of the largest land predators to ever exist, T-Rex stretched up to 39 feet in length and weighed around seven tons. Its massive jaws, armed with six-inch razor-sharp teeth, 
made it a formidable force. The discovery of T. rex fossils in the late 19th century was a turning point in paleontology, with the first complete specimen displayed at the American Museum of Natural History in New York. With a bite force exceeding 12,800 pounds, T. rex was one of the strongest biters in recorded history. It's also believed that T. rex was fast, capable of reaching speeds of up to 20 miles per hour, making it a deadly hunter. In contrast, Triceratops, a large herbivore, stood its ground as one of the few creatures capable of standing up to the mighty T. rex. Reaching up to 29 feet in length and weighing 12 tons, Triceratops had a massive skull and three horns, making it a powerful adversary. The fight for survival during the Cretaceous was a brutal, relentless struggle. But ultimately, this extraordinary era of life on Earth would come to an end in one of the most devastating mass extinctions our planet has ever known. The age of dinosaurs would vanish, making way for the rise of mammals and, eventually, humans. What might have happened if that extinction event never occurred? Would humans have still become the dominant species? Or would dinosaurs still roam the Earth today? The fossilized skulls of Triceratops have been found with scratches and dents, indicating fierce confrontations with rivals, predators, and even fellow Triceratops over territory or mates. One such specimen even had broken horns and teeth marks that matched the bite of a Tyrannosaurus rex. However, fossil evidence reveals that this particular Triceratops died of natural causes, highlighting the resilience of this species, armed with three formidable horns and a protective frill. These features made Triceratops a formidable opponent for any predator. Meanwhile, across what is now the United States and Canada, a heavily armored Ankylosaurus roamed. Reaching up to 29 feet in length and weighing about 7 tons, Ankylosaurus is known for its remarkable armor, composed of thick bone plates and its club-like tail. This tail, formed by fused bone, created a solid mass weighing several hundred pounds, used to deliver devastating blows that could break the bones of any predator daring enough to attack. This unique adaptation, along with its armor, allowed Ankylosaurus to survive in an environment filled with constant threats. Another fascinating North American resident was Pachycephalosaurus. In 1943, paleontologist Barnum Brown made a groundbreaking discovery of a skull in Montana's Hell Creek Formation. This dinosaur reached about 15 feet in length and weighed around 990 pounds. Its Latin name, meaning thick-headed lizard, refers to its distinctive dome-shaped skull, which could be up to six inches thick. This skull was likely used for headbutting, either in courtship displays or to settle territorial disputes. Despite its aggressive behavior, Pachycephalosaurus was a peaceful creature. Spending most of its time grazing and avoiding conflict. Now, let's fast forward to Laurasia, the second fragment of the once unified supercontinent Pangaea. In the dense forests of the early Cretaceous, a small feathered dinosaur named Archaeopteryx soared through the treetops. About the size of a crow, it was one of the first birds, 
evolved from small, feathered theropods, spending its days hunting insects and small reptiles. The discovery of Archaeopteryx began in the late 1850s, when a German farmer named Jacob Niemeyer stumbled upon a fossilized feather in Bavaria's Solnhofen limestone. Over the following decades, more complete specimens were uncovered, providing the first clear evidence of the evolutionary link between birds and dinosaurs. This unique blend of avian and reptilian features, such as feathers and wishbones, challenged the conventional view that birds were a completely distinct group. Meanwhile, across the forest, a thrilling chase was unfolding. Leptoceratops, a small, agile ceratopsian dinosaur, was fleeing from a predator. Leptoceratops, with its compact and nimble frame, moved swiftly on all fours, its name, derived from Greek, means slender horned face. It had a sharp beak, a small frill at the back of its head, and a short horn on its nose. Measuring about 6.5 feet long and weighing around 330 pounds, it was relatively small for a herbivore and thus an easy target for predators. One such predator was the swift Saurornithoids, Saurornithoids was a carnivorous dinosaur capable of reaching lengths of up to 10 feet and standing 6.5 feet tall. It had a long, narrow skull and a vertically compressed snout, along with a relatively large brain and sharp teeth. Its second toe on each foot sported a fearsome sickle-shaped claw that could grasp prey and likely tear it apart. With such deadly tools, its victims stood little chance. Heading further east in our journey through the ancient world, we encounter a variety of majestic creatures, many of which called the vast lands of Asia home. From towering herbivores to terrifying predators, these colossal monsters boasted numerous adaptations that allowed them to thrive in their environments. One of the fiercest predators to have ever roamed the Asian continent during the Cretaceous period was Tarbosaurus. This gigantic theropod dinosaur belonged to the Tyrannosauridae family. Which also includes the famous Tyrannosaurus rex and Albertosaurus. Tarbosaurus walked on two legs and was among the largest carnivores of its time. Scientists estimate that an adult Tarbosaurus could grow up to 40 feet long and weigh as much as 6 tons. Its massive skull housed powerful jaws filled with long, sharp teeth backed by strong neck muscles. These physical features made it one of the most formidable predators of its era, capable of taking down large prey. First described by paleontologist Rincon Barsbold in 1955, Tarbosaurus was given the species name Tarbosaurus batar. It lived in what is now Mongolia, where several well-preserved fossils have been found. Some paleontologists once thought Tarbosaurus might be an Asian variant of Tyrannosaurus rex, but modern studies suggest they were separate species. While they shared many similarities, Tarbosaurus had distinct traits, such as longer arms and a slimmer, less robust skull than its North American counterpart. While an adult Tarbosaurus could handle prey of all sizes, Younger ones likely hunted smaller animals like Psittacosaurus, a small, herbivorous ceratopsian dinosaur. Psittacosaurus was only about 6.5 feet long and weighed around 44 pounds. 
Its name, which translates to parrot lizard, comes from its beak-like snout, resembling that of a parrot. Despite its small size, Psittacosaurus was an agile dinosaur, capable of moving quickly on all fours to escape predators like Tarbosaurus. Another predator that roamed Asia was the intelligent and deadly Velociraptor. Unlike the solitary Tarbosaurus, Velociraptors lived in packs, using their sharp claws and hunting strategies to become formidable foes. Discovered in the Gobi Desert in the early 20th century, Velociraptor fossils revealed their distinctive sickle-shaped claws, which were likely used to grasp and disembowel prey. Velociraptors were relatively small, about 6.5 feet long and weighing around 33 pounds. They also had a large brain for their body size, indicating a high level of intelligence. It's believed that they could communicate and coordinate their attacks, making them even more dangerous as pack hunters. One famous fossil discovery, known as the Fighting Dinosaurs, depicts a Velociraptor locked in combat with a Protoceratops, forever frozen in time. This fossil provides invaluable insight into the behavior and ecosystem of the Cretaceous period.